Got him on the cast master. Oh, he hammered it, boys. We're gonna have to cook this one. Oh, we better fry him up with some parva beans. Hey, what's up, addicts out there? Thanks so much for tuning in. Today, we're gonna talk trout, and we're gonna talk about just my opinion. This is just my opinion. I know all you guys got all your opinions out there as well. So what I want you to do is comment below and tell me what you think is the best trout lure on the planet. Comment below, let me know what you think is the best trout lure on the planet, and we're gonna talk about what the best trout lure, in my opinion, on the planet is. And as you can see, we got ourselves a nice fish here on that lure of choice. All right, all you fishing addicts out there. So as you can see, I choose the Castmaster. To me, the reason I choose the Castmaster as the best trout lure on the planet is just its versatility. There's so many different ways you can fish this lure. There's so many different combinations of how you fish it. We're gonna talk about a few of those combinations today. So let's talk about version number one. First of all, before we do, I got an Okuma Guide Select Pro. This is a GSP. S762 UL. So it's a seven to six, two to six pound ultralight trout rod. These are super, super nice rods. They come with lifetime warranties. Badass rod for trout fishing if you're looking to get into it. Also paired with an Okuma RTX. I really like the RTX, it's a six to one, a little bit faster to retrieve. That's why I prefer the reel over any of the other Okuma ones. They're all great. They all have different price points, but I really like the RTX just for the faster retrieve. If you wanna get a different reel, Feel free, Okuma is just what we really like out there, but basically you're looking for the two, 2,000 to 2,500 range is typically what you're looking for in a trout reel. Now, let's talk about, Jordan went earlier today and spooled these, these reels up with line. So what we got on here is just some 10 pound braid. And the reason we're fishing a little bit lighter line is for castability. A lot of times when you're fishing trout, especially from the bank, you're at a disadvantage to the dudes in the boat. So being able to cast out there super far is super important. That's also one of the key advantages to me with these cast masters. Because they're a pretty small lure, most size fish will still hit them, but bigger fish will hit them as well. Little fish will hit them, medium sized fish, but you can cast the heck out of them. And Jordan's got a fish on right behind us. On a casty? No, spinner. On a spinner, nice. So addicts out there, castability, that's number one. Castability is the reason why I love this lure. Look at how far out we can cast these things. That's pretty insane. And what's so cool about them is, th is that. And then what you're gonna do, now let's talk about fishing them. The other advantages to see these things is there's a million ways to fish these cast masters. You can let it sink for a really long time, which is a way that I like to do it. I'll let it sink and sink and sink and get down there. And then what you're gonna do is just slow roll it. You're literally just gonna slowly bring this thing across you're just slowly reeling it and you're just that thing's kind of hovering closer to the bottom and all it's doing down there is just wiggling real slow like a fish just kind of cruising its way across the bottom so this this is this is the easiest way to probably fish these things in my opinion just get it down into its zone and just slowly roll that thing back do 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 all right for the for the for the fact that we're we're filming a video here i want to reel it in quick just to show you some other techniques here so the other thing i like to do with these cast masters and the reason i think it's the best trout lure on the planet is you can jig these things and the advantage to jigging cast masters or jigging any sign any kind of lure spoon crappie jigs whatever you're going to jig for that matter you can catch fish in all different water conditions whether it's super cold super warm whether it's medium like it is today it seems like when you're jigging it just that reaction of that jig it seems to entice bites so what you're gonna do same thing you're gonna launch that thing out there and then you're gonna just let it sink for a sec and then all you're doing is just giving it some twitches sink twitch sink twitch and you're just twitching it letting it sink twitching it letting it sink twitching it, letting it sink, and then you can do it faster. This is like a little bit faster of a twitch. What I also like to do is I'll, t I'll do a few twitches like this, and then what I'll do is then I'll go to just a consistent reel, just like this. And a lot of times what'll happen is that twitching motion that you're doing out there in the water column, it attracts those fish in from super far, and then the fish come in and smash it. 
that was three ways that I like to fish them. The other way is just a simple keeping this thing up. Keep it up in the water column. Don't let it sink. You're going to launch that thing out there again. And because of the way these lures are, if you just start reeling right away, it stays right where you keep it. So just get it a nice good reel, nice steady speed. You're just kind of reeling this thing and it's just wobbling it way around. And when you're reeling these casters, what they're doing is they're going like this. It just kind of looks like an injured bait fish or a fish swimming along or I don't even honestly know, but I'm, I'm assuming it's portraying a little fish. You're just giving this a nice consistent reel here. You can see, I don't know if you guys can see, probably can't, but if you look out there, you can actually see that cast master wobbling, wobbling back and forth here. When we get in a little closer, we'll kind of show you what that thing's doing there. But this is kind of keeping it way up on the water column, keeping it super high up there. So what happens is, Jordan, you're about to lose your fish, buddy. Uh, keeping it way up on the water column. So all those fish that are looking up, they see that cast master just kind of wiggling along there. All right. So now we are again, we're gonna talk about versatility again. I'm gonna keep pushing that throughout this video because in my opinion, what makes a really, really good lure is versatility. Being able to do multiple things with the lure, catching fish in different scenarios in different types of water in different conditions. So that to me is why this lure is the best on the planet. The other thing we can do here, another trick that you can do with these cast masters, for one, scent them. This is just a nice little piece of metal. There's nothing to these cast masters as you can see. They're just a, basically like a spoon, little spoon. It's got a split ring on the top, another split ring, and then a little treble hook. I like to use the Procure Trophy Trout Super Gel. Stuff is super, super, super potent, so you don't need to put a ton on here. All you're literally doing is putting just a little dab. That's it. That is plenty enough. You don't need any more than that. Close it up there. Now, another cool little trick is if you guys have seen these little power bait worms that you can get from Berkeley, these things are amazing for adding just a little extra action to this bait and getting more bites. So I've found sometimes on super, super tough days, this is another thing that makes these lures so freaking money is you can add things to them to help your, to help your bites, help your hookups. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rip one of these little three inches off here And you gotta use these super small ones. You can't put a huge, you don't wanna put something huge on that treble hook because if you put something too big on there, it's not going to uh, fish correctly. The lure is gonna wobble weird and it's not gonna work. But literally all I do is I take this lure or this worm in the treble hook and I'm just gonna literally wacky it. Wacky it right there. Just like that. Same thing on this, you can jig it, you can reel it, you can let it sink, do whatever the heck you want. But I've found that sometimes on tough days when you're out fishing for the stalker trout or if the, the place you're fishing is super pressured, just a little extra, little extra thing on the end of the hook will help get you bites. We've caught a few fish today as we've been sitting here casting cast masters and stuff, but it's definitely been a tougher bite and there's not a lot of fish wanting to, wanting to play today. But these cast masters, they get the job done. So as you can see, that's kind of how those things wobble in the water. The other thing you can do, but I don't really like to do it as much because you get a lot of short strikes, but you will get more bites is if you have just more of that worm kind of hanging back there. So literally like having it flat like that, because what it'll do is it, it just seems to give it a lot more action. But what I've noticed when you do that is you just get a ton of short strikes where they miss, they miss the cast master because they hit the worm. But watch the, look at that worm down there just freaking wiggling. Look at that, just so deadly. Just another trick, just another thing that you can add to your arsenal that'll help you fish these cast masters. One last little thing here, we're gonna show you guys just what this cast master looks like in the water here. So there you have it everyone. The cast master, in my humble opinion, is the best and most versatile trout lure on the planet. It will catch fish in any condition, in any lake, in any stream 
is an awesome, awesome lure. But I wanna hear what you guys have to say. Like I said, that's just my opinion. We all know how fishing goes. So comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. What do you think is the best trout lure of all time? Or if you have a bait that you found that you think is the best, comment below. We love to hear from you guys. And as always, do not forget, please tap that subscribe button right down here below. Tap that subscribe button and we'll see you out on the lake.